Hello and welcome to another episode of Games with Zane. We are playing EU4, the Third Rome, as Russia. So we just integrated Ryzan into our country. And they left us with a little bit of army here. What do we have? Mostly infantry, a little cavalry, no artillery. I think we are going to take this base army and go ahead and turn it into a 25 stack. You are locked, but you are not. You move there. Serbia, we have improved relations as much as we can. We have two free diplomats. When did we stop spying on the Ottomans? We should not stop spying on them. Ah. Uh, well, that's a small problem for Hungary. How is their war going? It is over. I'm assuming they took the things and didn't take anything, or at least not much from the Mamluks. They didn't give that to Tunis. Hmm. So now the Ottomans begin to recover. France is also recovering. Is France in any particular war? They are. Lorraine, Aachen, Baden, Cleves, Salzburg. Not Austria. Aragon is a vassal. Papal Valencia. Interesting. And tell us who all we have now. But, uh... Sweden, Pomerania, Hungary. And Serbia. Independence is guaranteed by them. We will offer them an alliance. Uh, how would they feel about vassalization? They are a no-go for that. So we'll do an alliance. Lovely. And we'll do the royal marriage. Diplomat. Gain the Casus Belli. Support rebels on the Ottomans. So they have fired, um, their war, we recently sent them a diplomat. That was the perfect time to, uh, to have them fire, it was right after a war. You guys can merge together, uh, we will have one, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lovely. Um, we are waiting for a hundred diplo power. We may need to increase our army maintenance. I've not decided if we are going to do this yet or not, but it would be helpful. Self-sustaining colony, excellent. Let's go to it. Doesn't get us any further out. This one is almost done. I'll be able to extend a little bit further. So we are, I'm sure we're getting close to being at the edge of Russia. What is that? Do you see that? Right there. What is that? There's a couple little holes poking through with things. Anyway, we may wish to have these two armies come down here. Sports 36, 28. One of you can go there, and one of you can go there. Moving on down, what exactly is going on here? Truce with France. They're no longer allied with France. 
It is just Morocco and Tunis that we have to worry about. That is excellent. That is excellent. Let's uh, take a look at how Tunis and Morocco are. Tunis, we've passed them. Tunis. Tunis. They have no manpower. That's very nice. What about Morocco? Morocco is sitting just fine and would be able to walk all the way over. I think now could be our time. If we convince someone to come into this war with us, that would be excellent. Serbia would come in if we offered them land. Sweden considers it a distant war. 130, increased trust. We're not going to be able to get them to come in. Serbia is a minor power in all of this, very clearly. Uh, Caspelli, show superiority, support the rebels. Take the capital is all we have to do. Is, that is the only, oh no, is that the only thing that we can get? Or is that just the, the bonus? Can we do the other things? So I would like to do other things with the rebels. Probably not much, but other things with the rebels. Now is our opportunity to slap the Ottomans in the face. I'm sure of it. But how exactly we go about that, I am less sure of. Um, you two. You two are going to merge up here. Because we have no more rebels out here, right? No rebels. Uh, we can, we may as well improve relations with Sweden while we're at this. Let's uh, improve relations here. Hmm. What territory exactly does Serbia want? That will work. There's Bulgaria. Serbia believes that to be one of her core provinces. They also have a claim there. And there. Not there. I will definitely see about trying to give Serbia their core province here. In fact, it is Serbian. Yeah. And that is what we will try for. Um... I think that's that's all we have to do is to do it. So this is going to be a leap of faith. We uh, we may get this, we may not. It'll take Morocco forever and a day to get over here, and I'm sure that the Ottomans are still kind of uh, figuring out exactly what they're doing. But it would be great to peel off Persia. So let's do it. We are going to support the rebels. We are going to tell Serbia that they can get things, just get one more ally in here if we can. Um, don't see them as coming in. They maybe could once their war exhaustion came down and if we paid off their debt. they could be a late entry in this. So let's go for it. We are going to do it. Do it we shall. So nervous about it. But uh, yeah. So one thing that we can do, we should do, let's uh, raise more taxes. And that will be helpful and we should also probably get at least one more leader. Who is awful. Wow. Um, what exactly are you going to? One of you should get the siege guy. And I think out here we will give you the crappy guy. So let's, let's pick targets. Uh, we're going to go siege here. You two clearly have this first up. Can't merge them together, they are doing things. 
but uh, blocked by a hostile fort, you should move there. You may switch you out once things happen, and the two of you should come here. Truth with Denmark has ended. Looks like rebels are doing things down here, so that is good. And they're beginning to take stuff almost immediately. It would be better if they would block off some of these uh, these units for the Ottomans. Our diplomat from that has arrived. We may slow this down just a touch. Because I have a feeling this is going to be important. So, Alright, you two merge up. You're coming on down. This is probably the area where they're going to have more troops stationed presently. Can I see the rebels? That would kind of be nice. Morocco and Tunis did join in. So what have we got? I am much further behind in this than I will. Maybe not. I have way more horses than they do, which is a little unexpected. So yeah, so they have they have 85. So they even still have more men than I do. Period. And it looks like they are raising them all up right now. Russian claims on the steppes. Immediately after the fall of Astrakhan in the year 1557, Ivan the Terrible launched a campaign in the steppes south of Kazan, in the realm of the Nogai Horde, heirs of some Mongol people. This was the first stepping stone in the expansion eastward. The Russian expansion eastward led between 1560 and 1581 by Cossacks under Yermak and the private venture of the Storganov merchants of Nitsinovrod had seen much land fall under control of the Russian Tsar. The conquest of the Khanate of Sabir in 1584 and the destruction of the last realm of Genghis Khan's heirs in Siberia was the last step before the exploration and control of the vast hinterlands. What would eventually see the Cossacks build cities out of their Ostrog's simple fortifications to ensure transit and reach the Pacific Ocean at Okhost in 1645. We are well on our way to... Uh, getting to the Pacific Ocean. So what is this? I gained a permanent core on the Pontic Steppe region, the Nogai area, and the Lower Yik area. Uh, interesting. So it's, uh, I guess it'll show us all those things in just a moment. Pontic Steppe, Nogai area, and the Lower Yik area. So let's take a look at that. I don't see any changes from what I already have. So, okay. I don't like that they are able to produce all of these men and send them out. I wanted to cut them off. Where are you guys at? You're coming on down. Lovely. They are taking things. We should probably attempt to switch you guys out. like that and move him there and basically do the same thing here lovely the Ming have sent us an enormous gift wow thank you so much that is greatly appreciated I have occupied a place we need to slow this down merge you up and merge you up 
and we will split in half to uh, help with some attrition right there. We got going on here, so we got some sieging happening. Oh my! There they are, and they are going up that direction. You should probably um run away. We'll let that siege happen. But my goodness, you should run away. Because they have a whole 70 stack there. It's going to suffer tons of attrition as they go. 17, 23, that is their sieging stack. Uh, we are fairly open out here. Not really noticed that. Don't know whether to pull them back or send them in. Into the breach. Uh, they're moving north into the breach. We may regret that. But into the breach we go. Yeah, they're already suffering from that move. Where are you headed? Same place. Real close to being able to get uh, Pomeranians or the, the Teutons, whatever the, the culture is. The Prussian culture. That is accepted and see if we can't see uh, uh, get rid of the center in. The way is open to Constantinople. Tunis has made it up here already. Very interesting. They're doing things Something that we could do is possibly pay off their loan. Take on foreign debt. They've got a lot. Improve their relations by a whole lot. This would take out most of our cash reserves. And I do not know if it would bring them in. We have a call for arms. Call to arms. Reasons. 200. 45. Mostly being their war exhaustion. So they, they would not do it yet. What level? Level 3. Good. So, with our Diplotech, we will add Prussian as an accepted culture. Culture shift and to remove it. Now, let's see. Missionary 101 months. But it is a thing. And we need to get them to stop. So we can get rid of that center of spread. Okay. And you guys now are together. Where are you going? How about we send you guys not like that stay away from their armies for the time being we will send you around here to help you spread further what about Sweden? Let Sweden come in I'm sure it's still considered too far away call to arms 280, they have lots of debt, distant war Fighting in another war, they are fighting against Denmark, so that's not going to happen. I'm sure they will do handily against Denmark, but yeah. <clears throat> what about Pomerania? Pomerania is also in that war with Denmark, so it's unlikely to happen. Not likely to happen anyway. <clears throat> so we're on our own. We've got to take and get Constantinople as soon as possible. 
Serbian marriage has ended. You guys should probably pair up and not worry about sieging down. And we probably want to basically plug a hole in Adrien. You can hang on. Okay. Increased autonomy, religious zeal, all that stuff. So you have 38 here. You can start by moving there. I don't think they're going to get that. I don't think I'm going to get there in time. So lovely. We can not send that or that because we do not have the diplomatic power yet. Ooh, where are you going? Up there. We are still moving around. Oh no. So here's this. They have a better general. They are going to have... Oh crap. They're locked in. It's not going to change that. That is also not going to resolve that situation. Move down here. March 7th, it's like right now. Occupy a place. Let's try occupying that one as well. So, yeah. When we can leave, we may as well just leave. Because we've got terrible rolls that whole time. God, that was awful. Very nice. We have plugged a hole in Adrene. They are splitting up. Very nice. We're sieging that down. It would be very nice if we could get Hungary to come in on this. 244 to 20. It's our trust. We need more favors than that. Just getting one more army in here could really help us out. Really, kind of letting attrition do its thing out here would probably be good. Fortress is under siege. That's okay. They are occupying small places. I am also occupying small places. Let's head to Karakum. Let's see if I can take stock of uh, what forces they have out here. So I've got 26, 46, uh, 64. If that is the case, I would believe that I can see at least the majority of their... Mm, not quite. I think they've got one more army sitting around somewhere. But I can see most of their military. There's Morocco, too. Doing a kind of funny thing. Um, we may use you to come around and deal with Morocco.
we have occupied a drain. Very nice. And that at least plugs a hole for them. Uh, Serbia is being sieged down. That's probably going to happen first. Uh, that's not their capital. It is a nearby fort. I think we want Constantinople to fall. Let's see what the uh no, we're at five on that. That's all that that's going to be. We have not breached the wall. There is a wall breach. Could spend fifty to go ahead and breach. Breach for some Breaching the walls gives a plus three siege modifier. I mean, it's, it's breached. We are making progress. So there, where are they headed? Further north. We've got here. These two should stick together. Occupy more places. Um, why don't we like build up one cavalry? Just something we don't really care about. Well, I mean, if we don't really care about it, we can just do one of those and have them desiege some of the stuff that they're sieging as they go, so that my uh, war score doesn't go crazy. My uh, excuse me, my war exhaustion. July 4th, that's lovely. Morocco's occupied that. Where are you going? Back north. Occupied places. Penal colony has expired. Let's come down here, and instead of you guys going there, have you go here. Let's see if we just tell Georgia to do these things. This is Georgia, yeah. Georgia, you occupy these places. Okay. There's Serbia over there. Ottomans are occupying more things. Fortress is under siege, Moscova. Uh, not a stack wipe. That is a little sad. So they have sieged that down. But they are not going to the capital, they're going to the other one. Siege of Ryzan is over. Okay. We are beginning to lose this a little bit. Autonomy increases are over. That's too good to, to happen. Would have been nice if we got the uh, siege on that tick. More occupations. Which direction are you going? Coming back down. Here we go. And even if you get lost, you're fine. That one is done. Ottomans have occupied Vladimir. It's okay. We're going to have a fight between five shattered and one not quite morale up. Gotten that back. Why don't you be the one to kind of siege down some of these other territories? And you get squished right away. Fortress is under siege, Moscow. Alright. It's fine. 
The Siege of Constantinople is over. <coughs> that is very good. So something the two of them can do is come and attack this. We can siege this back down and maybe siege down some of the rest of the stuff here in Europe. So we ha should have a ticking war score now. Uh, I have taken Constantinople. Hmm. How are they feeling with their war exhaustion? It is going up. Hungarian manpower is the problem. Okay. Well, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. We will see you next time.